I've just finished cleaning the fuel injectors to the sublight drive. You should notice a 0.0008% power increase. Target sighted. Sweep the area and escort the package. What's going on here? Stay where you are, sir. Make way for Moff Yorian. So much fuss over a walk to the spaceport, you'd think I'd break my own neck without a bodyguard. I'm Morale Yurian, overseer of this sector. I trust your visit has been both enjoyable and productive. A Jedi Master has been training students in the desert. I came to deal with him. Well, my lord, I hope he didn't spoil the atmosphere for you. Tatooine may not be prestigious, but it is useful. We've hosted everything from archaeological digs to weapons testing facilities. A clean slate means opportunity. Imagine Imperial Tatooine as a bulwark against the Republic and underworld corruption throughout the Outer Rim. Crime syndicates run half this planet already. You mean to turn that around? Eliminate the disease, and the symptoms will fade. Intentionally or not, you've already struck blows to the Exchange, the Sand People tribes, and others. You have unfinished business, and before you leave, I'm offering you a part in this sector's subjugation. And if I'm not interested in your offer? Why, we walk away. We're not barbarians, so hear me out. Without an Imperial Legion, we need unconventional allies to secure territory, and the local Mandalorian mercenaries are legendary. I've opened relations and posted officers in their settlement, but the Mandalorians must also learn to respect us. You can arrange that. You don't even have the strength to secure this planet yourself. Because troops are in limited supply, would you rather do nothing? The Mandalorians use the wastelands outside their village as a training ground. If you survive the passage, they'll be forced to acknowledge you. But retrieve the corpses of their initiates who died in the wastes, drop their own dead at their feet, and they'll be forced to see you as a challenge. If we humiliate the Mandalorians, they'll only turn on us. Not if we humiliate them by their customs. Put them in their place and help my men, and our conquest can begin. Sir, Colonel Gorick is waiting to report. If you'll excuse me, but think on what I've said. Work with me, and the rewards will be magnificent. Travel route is confirmed.
task is complete. Right away. Mandalorian, we've been through your training grounds. We survived what your initiates couldn't. What are these? You brought the dead here? Not just any dead. Our dead. You think you can walk into our village and insult us, Imperial Dog? No. They speak the truth. Our initiates failed, where these people did not. Welcome to our village. You have earned the right to be here. More than those stooges Mafiorian pays us to protect. I'm not here to prove myself to you. I'm here for proof you're worthy of me. There are limits to what we'll take. Stay close to your Imperial friends. They're afraid of you already. I'm Ensign Ver. The Moff asked me to congratulate you and pass on a message. He's transferring credits to your accounts as a gesture of goodwill. A taste of what's to come for all his valued allies. I'll make sure the Mandalorians learn their place, and our enemies will fall. He'll be glad to hear you say that. Good luck with your operations in the village. I'm sure you'll handle these people adeptly. Of course, Commander. Our relations with your people are based on respect, not just credits. Your concerns will be addressed. See that they are, Retorche me. Sir, Zola Alvanus Diplomatic Service currently assigned to the Mandalorian Settlement. If you have a moment, I'd like to file a request. I'm always willing to listen to a beautiful woman. That's very flattering. A pity we have to discuss business. The Mandalorians let us use their village as a staging area. But they're starting to resent our presence. It's time we moved on. Not far from here, there's a bunker in the hands of Gamorian raiders. Brutish, deadly creatures responsible for the massacre at the Vactuine mining colony. But if we had that bunker, we wouldn't need to share resources with the Mandalorians at all. Eliminate the Mandalorians. And we can stay right here. They wouldn't let us take the infrastructure intact. We need a base of operations, not a smoking crater. The Gamorians will mount a stern defense, but if you can soften the opposition and bring me their base's computer codes, it'll be enough. The Imperial Garrison can complete the takeover, leaving the Mandalorians to do what they will. With the Gamorian base conquered, we won't need the Mandalorians anymore. Ajaja! Garrus Palid, adventure, artist, and general mischief maker, at your service. You look like a woman of taste. 
Perhaps you are interested in my sonic earwax removal system. Oh, or this shiny globe. It will stay with you wherever you go. I've been looking all over Tatooine for an earwax remover and a shiny globe salesman. They're yours. You're the first person to show any interest in this junk. Look, just between you and me, I'm not really a junk salesman. It's just a cover. I'm from Imperial Intelligence's Experimental Weapons Division. Supposed to trick hapless fools into testing a new weapon. But you're not hapless fools. Sounds like a bad idea to me. But I haven't even told you what it does. It's a marvel. You won't regret it. This is the Sand People deployment device. Designed to send a signal that stirs up Sand People against the enemies of the Empire. I need someone to plant this device over at these farmland coordinates. It's the perfect test site, abandoned but covered in wildlife for the sand people to attack. I suppose I could give it a look. The device should have a range of two kilometers. There are sand people settlements all over this area, so it should be plenty. That's what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> 